So one of my favorite trends in the rideshare industry is that there are a lot of great companies with products and services popping up to help rideshare drivers like yourself earn more money. Today's video is sponsored by one of those great companies, Fairpilot. I love partnering with brands like Fairpilot because this is a company that helps you as a driver make more money and at the same time, it helps us keep the lights on the rideshare guy and create great content. Fairpilot is an app built for rideshare drivers that helps you find hotspots nearby for your next ride. It gives you a calendar of major events in your area and it even tells you where you can go to find a bathroom while driving. So no more peeing in bottles, guys. They launched a few years ago in London to help cab drivers analyze where it's busy and suggest places for drivers to go to get their next ride. Now they've expanded to the entire United States. Today, we're gonna go meet with Scott and like a lot of other Uber drivers in LA, he's an actor. So we're gonna go take this app for a spin and see what it's all about. So Scott, how long have you been driving for Uber and Lyft? Off and on since 2015. Oh, so yeah. you're, a, you're a veteran. Yep. What does the Fairpilot app do and how do you use it? Well, basically it helps you make the best use of your time and it gives you places, suggestions of mm -hmm. where you could be more likely to pick up a ride. Gotcha. So what it does, it helps me know that I'm not wasting my time waiting in a dead area. Mm -hmm. And then that way I can like, okay, this is a live area. Instead of like driving around all the time, hoping you get a ride. Cause I think it's tempting as an Uber or Lyft driver to be like, okay, if I'm driving, then I'm working. Well, no, if you're not picking up a ride, yeah. you're just wasting your money and time yeah, and gas. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, you know, one thing I found too with LA being such a spread out city is I often find myself in areas that I'm not familiar with, right? I mean, I grew up in LA and I live in LA, but they're still driving Uber and Lyft. You know, I find myself in parts of the city that I've never been in before. Has that ever happened to you? Definitely, definitely. Because I was in an area, like you said, mm -hmm. where I wasn't familiar. And I turned it on and I thought, wow, everyone must be using this fair pilot app mm -hmm. because everyone's in this hot spot. Yeah. But then I thought about it and I realized, no, it's not because they're using that fair pilot so much. Yeah. It's because the locals know the local hot spots gotcha. and fair pilot knows the local hot spots. Yeah. Even though I'm from really far away in Long Beach, I can be anywhere in LA County and get the local hot spots to know where to go. All right. Should we take this out for a spin? Yeah, definitely. All right. Let's, let's do go. it. So what are some of the local hotspots that you've kind of found or reaffirmed using mm -hmm. the Fairpilot app? Well, I live in Long Beach, so uh, Pine Street, restaurants and the mm -hmm. bars, it's like, and that that's active at certain times, and other gotcha. times you're not. Another thing I recently noticed about the Fairpilot that really is cool, I, had, I hadn't realized this, because I was like, well, what about where I'm going? Yeah, if you're like thinking, okay, later today I'm gonna be working at this location, I wonder what the hotspots are over there. You can actually move it over there and see what the hotspots are. Yeah, so you can actually kind of use it to plan ahead, right? Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, I also turn it off after I pick up people because it might be a little annoying to have fair pilots constantly saying, you've arrived at a hotspot. Gotcha. Just, yeah, you don't need that. So basically, I'm, I turn it on and turn it off a so lot. So you're getting notifications yeah. and recommendations from right. Fairpilot, because yeah. you know, obviously if you're if you're in the middle of a ride and you kind of go through one of their hotspots, it yeah. lets you know. Yeah. So that's good feedback for them. I think that that yeah. can definitely, maybe the option, it sounds like, to turn off those notifications or to sort of have like an in-ride mode yeah. maybe might yeah. be a good tip. So one thing I noticed on the Fairpilot app recently is the bathroom feature, which I think is really cool. And, you know, for drivers that are in, in San Francisco downtown, or especially mm. in LA downtown, uh, it can be tough to find a bathroom, especially late at night when bathrooms are closed and some are dirtier than others. Yeah. So uh, have you used that feature at all? Yeah, definitely. And the great thing about the restroom feature is it's implemented in areas where you actually need it. If you're yeah. in some suburban area where there's a bunch of McDonald's or whatever that okay. have restrooms that are unlocked, it's not going to show up on the map. It's more about the locations you need it. Downtown LA, yeah. their shell stations are, have a lot of wonderful clean bathrooms mm -hmm. that are easy to get into. We're going to test you now, Scott. Uh, you just ended the ride up here in the hills of LA. Mm -hmm. We don't know where we are. We don't know what we're doing. Right. Uh, we got to find the best spot to get a ride next. So let's open up that Fairpod app and see what it tells us. Okay, so the blue dot, that's us. And click request hotspots. And magic happens. And okay. So we got these three right here. 
So it shows me three hotspots. What would you do from here? How do you pick? Do you kind of analyze each one or? Yeah, well, it depends too. You know, if, do I want to head back home, mm. south? If it, it would be nice if you wanted to head south back down to Long Beach and there was an option to get a hotspot south right. of you, then you would probably pick, you might pick that hotspot that's south since it's in the general direction yeah. where you're headed. And so we could scroll up a little bit and check out what's there. So I scroll up and then I click request hotspots and then boom. Oh, okay. So I might be like, okay, you know what? How about I'll drive through this hotspot, uh. come over this highway, down this highway, and then, you know, like maybe there's also hotspots over there. So you check that, boom. So we looked at hotspots and, uh, you know, I see over here they've also got the events tab. There's an event you can click on. Okay. And it'll pop up right there what's going on. You can go more info, or if you want to see all the events, they're all there. So what's the one feature that you would like uh, Fairpilot to add next? What would you like to see in the future? Uh, you know how Google Maps, you can get future estimates on what the traffic is yeah. going to be like? Yeah, that's a cool one. Yeah, so if I know I'm going to be in a certain area, I'd like to plan ahead a little bit as far as hot spots. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, or maybe I'm in some area where it's kind of dead, but it's going to be a hot spot, you know, after I eat lunch or something like yeah. that. Thanks to Scott for taking us for a spin and showing us how the Fairpilot app works. I'm excited for this app because you know it's another cool tool in a driver's toolbox and I think that the combination of hotspots, events, and of course finding those bathrooms is going to be a super uh, valuable addition for rideshare drivers everywhere. Feel free to leave a comment below. I'd love to know about the hotspots in your city and uh, let me know if you've had success using the Fairpilot app, what information it's told you. You can download the Fairpilot app below using the link in our description and uh, if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. All right, stay safe out there. Take care.